We're back in the studio again, this time with noted nighttime photographer Felix Wong. He has got a super cool exhibit right here at the Main Street Gallery this November. Now, the Arts Council has had some pretty different exhibits this year. We're about midway through the season. Last month they had an actual exhibit that was made right here on site and they've got lots more cool things coming for the rest of the season. So don't forget to stop into the Main Street Gallery and check out Felix's exhibit. You are sure to not be disappointed. You've had some adventures when you go out chasing these photos at night. Like your car was stolen once. Yes. Um, and you were like way out north. Yeah, <laughs> Would exactly. Would you the engine go on and you're like, whoa. Yeah, so at the time my car had a, an, an intensive exhaust leak. Um, <clears throat> and it was about 12.30 in the morning and uh, Aurora's was out. Uh, I was at Saxman first to get that shot. And I decided it could look even more spectacular at Settlers Cove, so I just booked it north and I did a time lapse exposure from 12.30 till about 2.30 in the morning. And just as I was wrapping up, I heard my car start and drove off without me. Oh no. It takes a lot of work, you just don't wake up and bam, get a picture like this. Um, I'd say most of these pictures were gathered throughout the period of about four months. Okay. About two months leading up to summer and two months late summer, early fall. Why nighttime? Nighttime I mean, it's because... it's like your specialty, right? Some people do flowers, some people mm -hmm. do animals, people. You do night. Well, astronomy has been a long time passion of mine. I grew up reading books about space travel, space exploration, what, what we could expect in 2050. Um, and, you know, I've just been fascinated by what else could be out there because this galaxy that we're in, the Milky Way galaxy, has billions of stars and there are millions of galaxies that we can see with, with telescopes and each galaxy has its own billions of stars. So, who knows, there could be, there could be a solar system that's much like ours and Maybe something's happening there. Doesn't it make you feel really small? Yes. <laughs> uh, in a good, humbling kind of way, you know, puts, puts my worldly troubles into perspective. Like, I'm just floating on this pale blue dot, you know. Yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll get by. 